Hey, as promised, today we're doing the video on the Model Y battery degradation after 10,000 miles. Just like we were doing for the Model 3 Standard Range Plus. You can check out that other video. I have a link up above um, or wherever it shows up, I guess, <laughs> wherever you're watching this. So I did do 100% charge on the Model 3. And just like that, we're doing 100% charge on the Model Y. We're going to do it once a week for two weeks uh, and see what that does for our battery. See if it calibrates it and shows a higher range at full state of charge. And today I'm going to go ahead and give an update on after we got 100% charge where we're at. So here we are, 100% charge, getting ready to go for a bike ride. And I'm going to go ahead and switch the display here to the miles uh, distance there. At 100% charge, we are listed at 310 miles. Not impressive. When we originally got it, it was supposed to be 316. And with a software update, it was supposed to be 326. And right now it's listed as 310 miles. So we're hoping after a couple 100% charges, maybe that'll recalibrate calibrate and show us a higher state of charge. As always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers and I'd really appreciate your help. So let's get back to it. We will check on Teslify. We're using Teslify for the specific numbers on where we're at, uh, at 100% charge. It does keep track of that. So I don't have to worry about catching it exactly at 100% charge when it first gets there. And we can do it a couple times and track all of the complete charges uh, to see where they were at, as well as compare it to other vehicles that are listed on Teslify to compare other Model Ys and how they're doing. Again, we have over 10,000 miles on this Model Y. So it does have battery degradation and that would be expected especially the first 10,000 miles would be where you would expect the most battery degradation or the highest percentage of degradation in that first 10,000 miles so it is expected that we would have degradation we're going to see exactly how much that is after the first 10,000 miles we haven't had it for a year we got it back in June end of June of 2020 so it's a June build 2020 model Y and it is now almost the end of January so was that six months got about six seven months old uh, model Y with 10,000 miles so let's see what it looks like on Teslify and of course you definitely want to make sure that you go ahead and drive the car as soon as possible after getting it to 100% so we are actually about to head out on a bike ride. So we're definitely gonna get rid of the 100% uh, charge. We're gonna probably get down to maybe 30, 40%, I guess, by the end of this trip today. So that'll be nice and, and uh, efficient way to get rid of a lot of that charge that we don't, again, you don't wanna sit at 100% for very long. So we're definitely gonna take care of that with this bike ride. And of course, going on a bike ride and it is snowing doesn't pick up very well on the camera but snowing crazy so unplug and we'll be ready to go all right so here we are back with Teslify and looking at the odometer we have 10,671.96 miles here on the Model Y and as you can see from the chart, we started off with the stated range of 316 miles. That's when we purchased it. It's supposed to be 316 miles. Since then, we did get an update. You can see right here in the middle at around 6,700 miles, we did get that update and it immediately got us back to about where we were supposed to be originally. Uh, rather than the 326, which was newly promised at that point, it got us back up to around 316. But we since then went back down to around 308. And with this last 100% charge, we're back up to 310.42. So 310.42 there after that 100% charge. So this is again just the first 100% charge that we've doing. We were the first 100% charge that we did on the Model Y for this test. We we're going to wait another week after using it a little while and see what the charge is after another 100% charge, see what the range is. Um, so we did get almost two 
yeah, just shy of two extra miles of range just from that one charge there. It just kind of calibrated it. In fact, uh, once we charged it back up to 83%, I don't know why it's 83%. I set it for 80 and for some reason, I always have it set up at 80 and it looks like 80%, 81%, and then this last time, 83%. But regardless, it does say 310.7 miles. So that's actually a little bit more. 2.2 uh, 2 extra miles of range stated at 100%. Again, that's at over 10,000 miles on the odometer. So you have that first 10,000 miles. Obviously, you're going to lose the most amount of range. It looks like that is 4.92% loss at... 100% uh, after 10,000 miles on the Model Y. So that's what you could probably expect. I think that's pretty normal. 10, first 10,000 miles, you're gonna lose 5%. That, that's pretty typical. Um, again, it's actually not that much for us because, let's see, 316 is what we actually... Oh, hey, now I actually get some uh, fleet average. That's good. All right, so at 316 miles on that custom range, we would actually have only lost 1.71% of the battery. So that is actually not bad at all. Um, but it, again, we did get that update. We were supposed to get 326 miles. That was obvious from the update that we did in fact get that update uh, because you can see this huge jump right there when that update occurred. So, Pretty interesting that it uh, shows up that way. Now we do actually see some fleet average here. And surprisingly enough, the fleet average at 10,000 miles or so, uh, 10,500, 600 miles, it looks like the fleet average is 302.51 miles. So there's actually five other vehicles. So there's only six vehicles they show on Teslify uh, that have the Model Y with over 10,000 miles. And of those six vehicles, five of them are lower range than what we have. So that's pretty good. I mean, we're actually doing pretty good as compared to the others. Actually kind of, you know, feel kind of bad that some of these like 302.51 miles. Now I bet again that that's without calibrating the battery. I do think that this test is gonna show that you do that calibration and it actually does give you a better uh, idea of where the state of charge actually is or what the range actually is 100%. Um, as you can see, uh, just from me doing this this one time, it did bump it up two miles. So that's, you know, that's significant. Um, I did notice on the Model Y, just like on the Model 3, uh, when we had 100% of range, of course, or 100% charge, we didn't have very much regenerative braking, basically none at 100%. And then as you got down to about 95%, it got to be driving just about normal at that point, 92%, and it was completely normal at that point as far as I could tell. The only time you're gonna notice the difference is if you hit the brake a lot. I did notice at 92% on the Model Y, it still wasn't 100% um, regenerative braking ability is about half. Uh, about 50% of the regenerative braking available at 92% uh, state of charge, which is not bad. Um, I do think a lot of that was actually contributed to the uh, temperature out. So it was 40 degrees. So I definitely think that that had an impact because even when we got down to actually at the end of our trip, so we did do a bike trip, uh, bike ride, and we drove um, uh, over 100 miles, I think. But anyway, uh, we did drive around 100 miles on that and got down to about 43% uh, charge. Again, that was inefficient because we did have all the bikes on the back and it was cold and we actually ran it a lot extra uh, while we were waiting in the parking lot because it was it was really cold for, for a bike ride. It was actually snowing uh, for the bike ride. That was kind of crazy. So, uh, But it did get down to 40%, 43% and it still did not have 100% of the regenerative braking at that point. So definitely the cold weather impacted the regenerative braking availability as well. So it's hard to say what contributed to that versus the um, actual state of charge. So overall, this is the first test. We will do another test at 100% next week and give an update and see if we get some more miles back on the Model Y. But overall, I think I'm very happy with where we're at, even after 10,000 miles, if we lost 5% battery range uh five percent range at 100 percent that is totally fine and um again 
With the Model Y, it's much less of a concern because we do have over 300 miles range on the Model Y. So that's totally fine for road trips. In fact, very comfortable, at least with the road trips that we've taken, we've had no problem. We did take, well, we only took one real road trip. We had more planned this year, but obviously it's been a little different. Um, but the one road trip that we did take to Disney, uh, that was actually very successful and it was totally fine having over 300 miles range and we had the car totally loaded down and everything and it was totally comfortable. I will have a link up above to that as well. We did um, track that whole trip. I did four videos actually on that trip. So you can see what it's like to take a road trip in a Model Y and in any Tesla really that would have over 300 miles range, what it's like to do that. It's super easy. So as far as the battery range is concerned, if you if you have 5% loss on a Model Y with 300 miles of range, then that's not gonna be a big deal. Whereas with the Model 3, um, having that 220 mile range, that does get to the point where it gets a lot more into considering like where we can go and how, how you can make those trips. It would be more challenging with 220 miles range than obviously than with 300. So 300 with Tesla, you are good to go with the Tesla supercharger network. So that's it for this one. And definitely hit the like button if you like this content and subscribe so you can see that next video. I will have another video coming out for the Model 3 update and then the Model Y update for the battery degradation after 30,000 miles on the Model 3 and after 10,000 miles on the Model Y with two complete charges uh, to 100% to see if it recalibrates the battery. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.